right, hey guys, today we're gonna go over some of the equipment that we use when we're riding. Uh, specifically, polo wraps, knee boots, why we use them, bell boots and skid boots as well. I've shown you, I think I've shown you before in these polo wraps how I do it. There's two different ways that, that you can get this done. The first way is taking this, I don't know, about a foot and a half long flap here. I'm gonna come, come around, bring that flap over the point of the knee, which is right here. Then I'm gonna go right below the knee with that wrap, always wrapping my polo towards the back of the horse. Put just a little tension on it once I, once I come around the front of that, that leg there. Then the key is to go the same distance down all the way. So I've got, I don't know, about an inch spread here, so I wanna to try to take it an inch all the way down. Not pulling it too tight. Then now when I'm down at the ankle, I'm gonna take one wrap down low, one back up. And I'd love to have you know, a nice little V, preferably right, right in the center right there. And then just start working my way up. And I'll pull that flap down that we started with and kind of put half of it on one side of that tendon and the other half on the other. The big thing here also, we don't want to have any creases. We don't want to have any folds in that wrap. Okay. Come back up. Don't grow at the top, just like that. Pretty simple there. I like these polo wraps myself when I'm gonna use a knee boot. And today I'm gonna to use this style, classic equine knee boot. And I like it because then I can tape it on and it stays up. Most of these boots tend to want to fall down. The other thing with the polo wraps is they're a whole lot cheaper than buying splint boots. Then I take my knee boot. This particular knee boot I like because you can see it's got padding all the way around. So technically, I don't need to put two knee boots on, which I get this question all the time. Well, how come you only have one? That's because this boot is supposed to do the job of protecting both. If you have a horse that's really banging his knees hard, go ahead and put two on. It doesn't hurt anything. It makes them a little clunky when they're spinning, but for sure you know that they're not gonna feel any pain. Then what I'll do is I'll take my duct tape here and be very careful not to put this on too tight. That's the only job for this right here is to try to stick this knee boot to that polo wrap, not trying to pull it tight. I don't want to restrict anything there. Kind of tighten that down like that and we'd be ready to go. Bell boot wise, why do we use these? Uh, two different reasons. One, for spinning. If you've got horses with front shoes on and they're learning, they're going to bang themselves and uh, they, can, they can hurt themselves that way. Sometimes I leave them off for a little bit to you know, let a horse, sometimes the best way for them to figure it out is to step on themselves once and then they don't do it again. If you have a horse that continues to do it over and over, you've got to put bell boots on. These are the No Turns by Classic Equine. I also use the neoprene like this, a little different, got a little more padding. If you have a horse that gets irritated in the pastern area or they have scratches, you might want to use that type. These are good because they don't turn at all. Now the other reason why we put bell boots on is stopping, which I think it has more benefit for that than anything. When you're running and stopping and you're pulling them in the ground and training on them, a lot of times they'll reach up and they'll hit the bulbs of their heels right about here, make them really, really painful. And then, you know, needless to say, they don't want to run down and stop the next time. And sometimes it'll actually make them limp. I typically always put these on when I'm going to run and stop. Now I'll show you, while we're here, the skid boots that I use. Classic equine leather skid. Why do we use these? You can see right here, see how it's wearing out right there? When those horses are sliding, they're getting down deep and literally the back of their, their ankle there, their pastern will get down on the ground. And it's like, like road rash basically, and it'll rip the hide off their skin, real painful. And you'll see horses, they, if you burn one, you'll know it because they almost immediately quit stopping. Real easy piece of equipment to put on. Strap that Velcro there. They make these with a buckle also. Whatever your preference is, I have each. Stick it on just like that and your horse is ready to stop. Now you could leave it on the whole ride. I like to put it on when I'm ready to stop just because sand gets in here and it starts to rub and irritate over time. You can also use a neoprene version of the skid boot. It's maybe a little softer, 
Still has the cup, still has the protection. Classic Equine makes this as well. And same thing. You could, now this boot, if you wanted to, you could put it on and leave it on. I've seen some guys do that. Sand still gets in there. So myself, I st still tend to wait until I'm stopping the horse to put it on. Now, depending on the footing that you're in, if it's kind of coarse, I'll actually put the polo wraps on the back end as well. And that'll lead me to showing you how I back, I told you there was two ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you the other way of doing it, I do on the back end. If you wanna do it on the front end, that's fine. But um, this is what I do. Let's say if I'm going to a horse show, it's coarse ground, and I wanna put, come here, buddy. I wanna put more protection on there. If I wanna use the wraps on her and then put, you know, typically I'll put the skid boots over the top. But here I'll take that same kind of flat, about that, maybe a little bit shorter. We set a foot and a half the other way. I'm gonna take that flat, bring it around, right about to there, right about the middle between the hock and the fetlock. Come around, make sure it's nice and flat. Don't want any folds or creases like that. Try to make this distance the same. And this just takes a ton of practice. If it's not right, take it off and redo it because you actually can do more harm than good by putting polo reps on the wrong way and bring this up so now this leg if you have a really big stopper also you've got a little protection here but then now I can take this same skid boot throw it on over this wrap when I'm using I told you also I have the, the skid boots with the buckles when I'm when I'm putting polo wraps on and skid boots a lot of times I have to do that because it's so thick that this velcro won't reach so anyway that's a quick little uh, how to, what kind of, a, you know, leg protection I put on these horses before I go out with them. You know, it's, it's uh, free to put this stuff on. Of course, you have to buy it, but it's dang sure not free to have that vet come out. I just like to get in a routine of doing it on a regular basis. We do use splint boots as well. If, again, if I'm not going to spend this horse a lot or if it's an older horse, you know, I might just use a regular old splint boot as well. But for the most part, we're putting on something just like this. Looking to step your game up? Perfect. All you have to do is go to mattmillsranging.com. It's only $24.95 a month, so sign up today because the key to success is knowing.